Hello, I am back recreating the lighting in another reference photo of another angry looking white guy. It's almost like these were made for me. I'm going to take a look at this picture and try to deconstruct how I think it was lit and then I'm going to go and try to recreate it myself. So straight into this, obviously we've got these back two lights for lamp and this bluish uh, light at the back. They're actually doing almost nothing to his face. So we can almost completely remove those. And to be honest, I will probably just Photoshop those in when I recreate this later on because I don't have enough lights to add those as practicals. The only thing those two lights are really doing is adding this blue outline right on him there. So then looking at the lighting that is affecting his face, I think there are three lights going on here. And the first thing I always do when I'm deconstructing lighting is to find eyeballs. So we have one light source, two, the same light source, and then a third here. Something I want to mention about looking at lights in eyeballs is that eyeballs are convex. So when you're looking at lights that are on the edge of the eyeball, they can actually be further away than what they look like if you're imagining the eyeball as a flat mirror. So especially this light here is going to be a lot further around than we would initially imagine it. The other thing we're going to use to tell us where it is, is going to be the actual shadow on his face. So there is this shadow here. And we can see that coming down here, here, around here a little bit, and it's starting to come on around that line here. So this light is almost side on, but it's a little bit further back because that's going to be giving that shadow here. Coming around to the other lights, we've got this light coming here, a little bit blue, a little bit green. We're seeing that from this sort of shadow color having this bluey green tint everywhere and it is almost above camera, slightly camera right. Now finally we have this light here and you can see it is lighting up this sort of area in here. It's lighting up there. You can see as well on his nose. It's lighting up part of his nose. So you can see it's sort of up lighting him a little bit from that direction as opposed to this blue light, which if you imagine his nose, tip of his nose is a little bit of a sphere or an eyeball as well. That blue light is slightly above. It's not too small and you can sort of see that as well in how gentle this light is and that fall off from this part here into this shadow. I would say it is softer than the light on this side, just a little bit. So I would put that light down here somewhere and the orange light, yellow light over here somewhere and then that bluey green fill is going to be coming in from just above right of camera. I think that about covers it for analyzing the reference shot. I'm going to wait until it's dark and start setting up some lights. Uh, I think it's going to be helpful when it's dark so I don't get any uh, light spill which will just really lift the shadows and I will see you guys in the setup. All right, note to self, just buy more lights. All right, could I get you to sit facing like head like that? I guess I need to turn everything up to compensate for the fact that that light is too bright. This light is a lot further around. Oh yeah, and that light needs to come around way more. Sorry. Ooh, that does look a lot better though. I just gotta turn it up. Can I get you to look out the thing again? All right, and then this tube light needs to be more like. So you're recreating, was that having the chip on my head? You know what I should do? 